How does an abstract artist think? Do you want to know? Abstract art is art that does not attempt to represent an accurate depiction of a visual reality. But instead, you shapes, colors, forms, and gestures to achieve its effect. Basically, I distort reality in an attempt to present the subject in a different way that shows my interpretation of the things I see. In order to frame this video correctly, let me start by giving you a bit of a backstory to my initial exposure to the art world and why I believe that there were two main factors which influenced my abstract frame of mind. When I was around nine years old, I was fascinated by cartoons. I read all the superhero comic books, as well as these funny cartoon books my dad would bring me from his travels to Europe and South America. One day, I decided I wanted to draw these characters. I picked up some white paper and a pencil, and I started looking and drawing them out little by little. I believe what really attracted me to cartoons was that these characters were created with a visually different interpretation of the human anatomy. I mean, they had heads, eyes, arms, legs, hands, feet, but they were very unique and playfully conveyed many feelings and emotions. And within that whole cartoon world, each particular artist had their own style and that was really fascinating to me. Around that time, my father would sit down with my sister and me, picking out different art books from his library. He would go through the artists, one by one, explaining their style and the movement they belonged to. My favorites were always the Impressionists, but then everything changed when he introduced me to two artists in particular, Joan Miro and Pablo Picasso. The distorted faces of Picasso, the bold, almost childlike lines and colors of Miro. How can they twist reality so carelessly, yet attain that level of magnificence? By appreciating them in detail and later absorbing the many other masters of Cubism, Surrealism, and Abstract Expressionism, I learned that this distortion was not done with complete reckless abandon. There was composition, there was structure, the color schemes were just right. It's kind of funny because whenever I'm just sitting around looking at something interesting, I sometimes draw it out in my mind, always distorting all its different parts. People and their expressions have always fascinated me to see how different yet similar we all are. Yet coming up with ideas on what to paint is not that easy. My mind is always wandering around. So when I sketch, I try to either remember interesting things I have seen or look at different references. Then. I try to draw them out in sketches. I remember an artist saying once, art is mostly about life, so a painting is basically a reaction to that life. And that rings very true to me. In my art, in my abstractions, there's an unconscious reaction to my life experience. It's an expression of how I see life mostly focused on positive things, energetic bold lines, vivid colors. Each brush stroke is an adventure, never really knowing how and where it will take my hand. As you see this time-lapse video of me working, you have probably wondered, what is he drawing? In reality, a paradox exists when answering the original question of what me as an abstract artist thinks. 
The paradox is that in a way, I think about lots of things. The cartoons I drew in my childhood, influences by other artists. How would Picasso paint it? What colors would Miro use? But on the other hand, I can't recognize any process or even logic to my painting. Just a constant flow of energy that guides me into portraying inner feelings and life experiences as an alternate reality. My hands not always follow my commands, as my brain gives way to a sudden state of bliss when I paint. Then I am completely relaxed, simply channeling this flow of energy onto the canvas. Hi there. I'm done. I love painting nighttime. The house is kind of quiet. The girls are asleep. And I just put some music and I just kind of disappear for however many hours I'm painting. It doesn't matter how many paintings I do. It always feels different. As an artist, you, uh, I believe, or I guess you're always looking for uh, a bit of a challenge. You, you, you kind of approach each piece with some idea in mind, of course, uh, and you have whatever style and technique you have developed, but you're always trying to look for that little change, that new thing that you're gonna try. Uh, and today, I usually paint, I paint it in reverse. I usually paint on white canvas, right? And then I paint a lighter color on the background. But today, I painted on a canvas that I painted with black gesso. And uh, when I do the lighter colored ones, uh, I use black black lines, liquid acrylic, which I'll, I'll show you in another video uh, how, how I use my, my liquid acrylic. Uh, so when I did the black uh, canvas, uh, you're gonna notice during the video that I was using white lines to uh, do some um, details on, on the painting. Oil sticks, black and I have a white, and uh, they're awesome. I mean, your fingers, <laughs> this is how they finish up, but they're great. Uh, I've been uh, really wanting to, uh, to do something different, so today, that was my uh, little experiment, so I think it turned out great. I wanted to look for a subject that kind of stepped me out into something different. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Um, another thing, stop. Don't keep painting because you'll never finish. Let me show you something. Here is the original sketch I made on my iPad. That's the sketch, and that is the big guy. This is uh, 40, 48 by 24. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon.